Hi, my name is Mangni. I'm a teacher and I'm an artist. I'm going to show you today a coffee painting. I never done it before and I found it very interesting. I do a lot of watercolors, so doing coffee painting is not that different. Here you see an illustration I did. After painting this, I scanned it into Photoshop and I'm so pleased. It's so inspiring. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm going to do this. It's definitely going to be my new thing. I'm going to test the colors for the first time, what it's like to use it. I found coffee from yesterday and I also made a blend that had more coffee in it. And I kept it adding to make it darker. It is kind of like watercolor where you can work in layers. See, a little bit darker, but I expected it to be much darker. But uh, I had to make a little cup. Uh, where I had hardly any water and loads of coffee. Here you see I'm sprinkling some coffee over it and uh, then it gets nice and dark. I wanted to try what it's like to have the salt like in watercolor, a lot of people use it a lot to remove some uh, pigments. That didn't really happen here. It, it was rather the opposite. I also have some watercolor binding that I wanted to try and uh, I liked it a lot. It's really smooth and lovely and um, try it out if you can. I'm using watercolor paper by the way. You see it's uh, more transparent and um, yeah it, it was really different. I, I must admit that I would test that out more. But I love watercolor. I'm also testing uh, masking fluid to see what that is like. And you see, when I remove the salt, it's got dark spots. It ended up cool. Definitely gonna try that again. And after the masking fluid was uh, dry, I added the coffee. But when I was rubbing it out, that, that was, just took such a long time. It's, it's not like that with the watercolor. Okay, that's, that's it. Hope you try it. If you liked the video, you can share it and you can subscribe.